Got an update on the M35A2 Whistler. Not running right. This is number two fuel injection line. My last video, I had loosened this part. Doesn't want to turn right now. All the way back. There it goes. Up at the injector. No fuel was coming out at all. So I stopped. What I was doing. This thing loose. We'll go back down. Yeah. And went into research. What would cause fuel not to come out one side? And there's the fuel metering valve that those little, I'll show a picture of it later. I thought, well, maybe that was it. Open that back up. That was okay. Because the other five were getting fuel. So why is this one not getting fuel? So then I loosen the bottom, this part down here. This part still unconnected. Started it up. I had the nastiest, rusty junk come, come out of here. Squirting out at a real high pressure. That means this line is clogged. And I use, of course, a clean rag. I got nothing. Fuel's supposed to go this way. I got nothing. We're at my solvent tank. I'm going to try blowing air backwards. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it did work. Okay, so that works. Can I blow air through it now myself? No, I cannot. Let's try going backwards again. Air's coming out. But why was fuel not coming out? Let's we'll see if solvent will come out. Okay, no solvent came out without pressure on it. Gloves so I can pick up my air nozzle without contaminating it. Good enough. Okay. Let's try blowing fuel this way. Yeah, it does. So it blew the liquid through there, now just air. So, I guess I'm going to put back on the truck. Whatever was in there, I got out. Let's see if I can blow through it yet. No, I'm not getting any air out. I don't know. But that's where we are. So, that's the latest update on the Whistler.